Hi, my name's Paul. I'm the creator of the Garden Planner and I thought I'd just take you through a few things about how it works so you know how to use it better. This is the home screen of the Garden Planner. You can see we've got a weather section here, so that tells us um, using your postcode that you've value that you've entered at the start during registration where you are. We could pick up weather from there. We also have the moon phases, but that's going to be the same wherever you are. But if you are a gardener who likes to use moon planting, then this section here will tell you what you should be planting when, depending upon the phase of the moon. Underneath here in this section is the main uh, area for your garden. So you can see the plants that I've got in there at the moment. I'm not showing off, but I've got a little bit in at the minute. Um, a lot of that's coming towards harvest as well. And I can change up here what the zoom is so 52 weeks looks like I've got mushrooms there ready until the middle of May um, but then I can come in and zoom in a lot more detail to see very closely that between now and halfway through March again the mushrooms are going to be coming in rather than having finished off. Underneath that there's a section there for what you could plant next um, again that depends upon the region that you're in. Lettuce in Melbourne is able to be grown most of the year um, just give it a bit of shade during the, the hot the hot days of summer. And if I press on the icon of the of the of the lettuce, I can see there that um, I've got some information about the plant here, so what goes well with it, what goes badly with it, but also um, what to do, what, what its harvest dates are, depending upon whether I've come in as a seed or in this case as an established plant. So when I can start actually picking leaves from, from the lettuce. So if you've got an established lettuce plant that you bought from a nursery, uh, you'll be able to take leaves from that you know, in just over a month. Or if you're growing it from seed, it's another month on top of that. If you decide that you don't want to plant lettuce now on the 3rd of February, but you know maybe sometime later in April, um, this section here, once you press OK, will remind you of that on the 7th of April that, look, you said you want to plant lettuce. It lets you plant in the future. So by pressing OK, that plant will appear uh, a little bit further down here, at this point here. Going onto the Gantt page, which is where a lot of your work will be, you can see that um, I've got uh, quite a few, again, plants in here to, to be growing. I've got them ordered at the moment by their plant family. So the beans, the Fabiachis are all together. Uh, the Silencias or the nightshade family down the bottom there in the in the red. So if you're a gardener who likes to plant with crop rotation, then this again can help you to get a bit of a sense of what's going on. Or you can do it alphabetical. C is for corn, B is for beetroot at the top, and harvest time as well, which is where I tend to keep mine so that I can I can track where things are. I can again zoom in and out of of when things are going to be uh, ready to harvest. And down here you can see that I've got a watering uh, event that I need to do for those peas. Let's just say that I've watered those and now the next time I need to water is not for four or five days. If I press on the icon for the, the plant, so in this case the corn, you can see that I've got uh, quite a few events that have gone through uh, that, that need to happen. So I've got just a few things left. That corn is out in the garden at the moment. You might have seen in my back before in the intro video and that's nearly ready to, to eat. So those are starting to come up now, which is uh, fantastic. If I wanted to delete, I could have deleted from there as well. Onto the weather page now, which is really designed for gardeners. It's showing you specific pieces of information and bringing up more obviously things like rain and how much rain is likely to be coming. So this is the next four days in Melbourne. We've just had a bit of rain in the morning. But uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday are heating up so that on Wednesday I'm looking at a fairly hot day and that lets me make decisions about whether to, to water or what I want to do, whether I put up shade cloths or whatever your strategy is, you now have enough information to, to do something about that uh, weather event. Coming finally to, to quite an important part and that's the, the little bug up at the top here. If you press that, that's a way of contacting us basically with those three main um, problems that you might be having. You might have a plant problem in that uh, there might be wrong information for your area. There might be a device problem uh, in that the 
um, device isn't doing what you want or the app is crashing or those sorts of things. And then there's a weather problem. So while we can't actually fix the weather in your area, it's going to do what it's going to do, we can um, check with you to see if the right information is appearing in the app. You can also watch the video again and if you've made a mistake, you can just hit that button as well. And that's the garden planner. That's the, the second version that we've, we've put out. We'll be putting out an update later again in March uh, 2013 and then uh, an even bigger version uh, probably towards, towards April. I hope you have uh, get a lot out of the garden planner and please contact us, give us some feedback. Love to know what's going on in your garden and we'll uh, see you down there. Bye. And that's it. I hope that you get a bit of usage and a bit of knowledge out of the garden planner. And if you've got any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.